everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing just want to talk to you real quick about what's been going on with the channel what I have been up to obviously you have seen me out there fishing in the South Jetty and no that is not the only place I fish so I have a few clips that showing you where I have been fishing and also had a lot of questions about the South Jetty and how to get to the South Jetty and I will show you that here later on in the video but first of all, I just want to thank my friends, my buddies at Saltwater Soul, Billy Ray Ragnar, always supporting the channel, and the other guys up there at the shop. The shop is located in Galveston on off 53rd Street and Broadway, right across from McDonald's. You can also find their swag, their gear, their hats, buffs, and stickers online as well at saltwatersoul.com. So make sure you check them out and support them because they continue to always support and show me love. But speaking of love, let's just talk about Sea Star Base. One of the things that I have been up to these last few weeks is I have been volunteering at Sea Star Base Galveston with my buddy Cody Dunn. We, I have been up there helping him, volunteering my time to show the next generation how we, our passion and love and how to fish. So we were up there the other day and we had some inner city youth come out to Sea Star Base Galveston, spend the day out there putting them on some fish no there was no monsters caught or nothing like that we didn't catch any shark or anything crazy but we had fun watching those kids hook up those kids had fun it was a blast out there you know we also had our friends come out at texas park and wildlife and my great friend which i'm adopting him as my great friend michael Shear with fishing's future was out there there's a, that's also another great program so we did that. I did that one day, and then I also helped Cody volunteer an additional day. I was out there with his new program that he just launched and kicked off there at Sea Star Base Galveston. It is for, it's. I know they labels it as an after school program, but what it really is, it is a program for kids who are at home, children who are at home, virtual learning. So this gets them outside of the. This gets them outside of the house, away from the computer, in the outdoors, teaching them how to fish, the conservation of fish. So if there is a bad weather day, obviously you don't want kid, children out there. So they also have a classroom setting where they will teach them about fish, fish habitat, the marine life, coastal conservation, and things of that nature. But it is always great. I mean, I'm really passionate when it comes to teaching our next generation the love and how to, the love and conservation and taking care of the fish and doing things simply the right way and learning how to do it and really inspiring them to go out and be young anglers. All right, so that being said, that's what I've been up to. Also, I have not only been fishing the South Jetties, but I went out a few times and fished and fish Sea Wolf Park. I know I had a question. Do I like Sea Wolf Park or do I like the South Jetties more than I like Sea Wolf Park? And honestly, I really don't. I don't like one more than the other. But Sea Wolf Park just hasn't been showing me love. I know I've seen people out there hooking up. I've seen pictures on Facebook and other social media platforms out there hooking up. I'm just, I have just been going on the wrong day. I went out there one day, I only caught one fish. Here we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's nice. And yes, my buddy Eric outfished me again, catching those flounder. Eric just hooked up. Trying to run over here to him real fast. Undersizer. Undersizer. Maybe 50, right at 15. He probably. said it was a good one. Yeah. He said it was a 22 incher. <laughs> no, and look at that guy. That is... At least 20, 18 and 22, a half. 22 centimeters. It's about 18 and a half, bro. 18 and a half, if that's how you measure. Yeah. And, but unfortunately, we only caught a lot of smaller flounder. We went out on a second day, and we went out Monday, and Monday we had, and overnight we had those strong north winds, and it just pushed 
all the water out. I it blew my mind when I went out there. I've never seen anything like that before. The water was completely and totally dumped out. I've been out there before and the water's been low, but never like that. So I said, okay, Eric, let's come back out tomorrow. The water's gonna be pushed back in and let's see if we can hook up. Well, unfortunately, there just wasn't a lot of fish there. I only saw one fish being caught and it was the one that I caught. I caught a nice, I caught a nice flounder. There we go. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, come on. Get. It's on your back. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice little guy right there. He might squeak out 15. He looks so much bigger in the water. Look how small he is. Yeah. He looks so much bigger in the water. He might squeak out 15. But that is on biting a fight angler's lure. We did fish both sides of Seawolf Park. Sea Wolf Park. There was absolutely nothing on the left side. And like I said, on that right side, on the channel side, there was only the one that I saw that I caught. We ended up going down and heading to South Jetties where we wrapped up a long day. Just about right before sunrise to right before sunset. Ran into a lot of subscribers, a lot of viewers, other anglers out there. Had a chance to chit chat and spend a little time talking and hanging out with some of the subscribers. So that was pretty cool. So if I did see you out there, I appreciate you guys. Love and support. And I appreciate you guys watching watching the videos unfortunately there was no fish to out there to be caught i'm thinking that yesterday might have been a better day and i'm thinking today probably is gonna be a real good day too but hey that's just me i always think if i'm at the house i'm always think someone's out there catching fish so anyway but one thing that i have been asked one question i have been asked over and over again is where is the sal jetty now to me it's kind of an easy place to find you know, it's really just a couple of turns and you're there. It's not hidden or a hard place to find. And I, so I just wanted to go through and I'll sit on the computer, go through here on a map and show you how to, how to get there. So if you're not familiar with the area, well, let's switch over to the PC real fast and I'll show you how the best way to come in and put you right on that east end of Galveston. All right, so right here you have the Golf Freeway coming in over Independence, Independence Trail, or at least that's what it says, but this is really the causeway going over the bay. You come down and 45 will turn into Broadway Street. You come down Broadway, right here across from McDonald's at 53rd Street, there's my buddy Saltwater Soul, that's their store, but we're gonna keep going down all the way down to Broadway down to Broadway, down to Broadway, and we're gonna hit the seawall. There's Stewart Beach right here, there's McDonald's right here as well. So right here, when you come out to the seawall, you're gonna take a left, and you're gonna go all the way down until you have nowhere else to go but to take a right. Now, Sal Jetty. Now this whole area, you see people out here by the cars and the trucks, casting a lot of lines. Just real quick, let me back up and kind of show you where we are on the map. Here's a Texas City Dyke. Here's the Bolivar side, the Bolivar side where the ferry is, and you see Seawolf Park right here at Pelican Island. Now, flounder come empty out of the bays, out of the drains, out of the bayous. I said drains, but out of the bayous, and they will drain out into the shipping channel. Now you see a lot of people catch them at the dike, a lot of people catch them around Pelican Island, a lot of people even come across to the ferry landing and wait fish over here. There's a North Jetty over here, and here's a South Jetty. So what the jetties are is just simply rocks that protect the both sides of the channel for shipping and cargo. So anywhere along this route, you're going to find some flounder if they're moving, if they're migrating, if they're not, if they're not at one location, they might be at the other location or the other location. There's nothing guaranteed. I mean, like I said, I've been to the South Jetties twice these last couple weeks and I, I've got no fish there. Yeah, 
I skunked both times. So it happens. But okay, back here. All right, so we are going down the Seawall Boulevard. You're gonna turn, take a right right here. And you're gonna go all the way down the road to it ends and it will end into what is known as East Beach. Now, I know a lot of people ask for an address. Well, what's that address I could put my G GPS in? So you have Galveston Island horse and pony? Yeah, horse and pony rides. Right here is a good address you can put in. Right there. So that's going to be an address you can put in there. But obviously, that's not where the South Jetty is. The South Jetty is over here. So when you come through the toll, and no, they're not collecting tolls right now. I haven't ran into any body out there collecting i don't know when they collect or when they take the toe they haven't been doing on the weekend so i'm thinking it's simply because it's off season so there is no charge to get to the beach right now or at least that i've experienced so but don't quote me on that you might go one day and they're out there collecting money i i, I can't help you with that but anyway so you come out here you take an immediate left come across be careful you know there's a few spots where it's wet and if it's rain and you know, you have the strong wind, so don't go through any sand if you're not in a four-wheel vehicle, four-wheel drive vehicle, um, any thick or loose sand, rather. And right here is the parking area. Now, be mindful, because we have had some strong east winds before, and this sand, and I watch maybe three or four cars every time I go out, will get stuck right here. Right in this strip, there is no parking, but when there is sand here, I see people park here all the time. I'm not saying you park there. I'm not saying your truck will not get towed or your car will not get towed. I've also seen people park over here and then just take a longer trek when there is a lot of sand here. But the other day we came, there was no sand, so we parked right here and you just trek out to the jetty. And here is the South Jetty. You can fish on the rocks, although it does get crowded. It also gets crowded right here weight fishing, sad times. Be careful, be mindful, the rocks get slippery. If you have a strong wind, it will splash on here. Sometimes you get lucky and there's bait in the area so you can throw the cast net and catch some, some live mullet. But this is simply it. It's Like I said, it's nothing super special, nothing too hidden. We just come out here and we wade fish and cast towards the rock. Be careful, whenever you put on the waders, you get in the water, be careful, watch your footing shuffle your feet don't step on a stingray i know i had one viewer one subscriber tell me he had a seven foot bull shark swim past him a few weeks ago when he was out here weight fishing i've never seen that i've never experienced that to me that's pretty scary but um yeah so i know people say well sharks aren't gonna bother you whatever whatever you know, you know what a spider's not gonna bother me either typically but if i see a big one jump out i'm gone <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to cover and catch up with you guys. I know I haven't sat down in a while and just really chit chat and let you know what's been going on with me, what's been going on with the channel. I have been extremely busy. I have another project that is coming out shortly. I know people have asked me about meeting up, about hooking up, about open fishing invites and hanging out and also people who want more DIY stuff. This project is gonna able me to do a lot more of that i'm working with a couple of the youtubers and a couple of the friends and hopefully this project will come out pretty soon and you guys you guys will be able to join this membership and hang out with us and get some more coverage some more ruben some more funk so brother and some open invites so we can all hang out and get our lines wet and hook up together but Thanks for coming back. I really, truly appreciate each and every one of you, and I really mean that. And if you ever see me out in the water, don't hesitate Don't hesitate to say hi. Don't hesitate to come over and, and shake my hand or fist bump or air five or wherever, wherever you feel comfortable doing in this COVID environment. Don't hesitate to give a holler, and hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.